coming in. Um, you know, and yeah, I mean, we were young prior to him coming in, so it's nothing we haven't dealt with this year. And, um, you know, I'm excited to, to see him. He had a great training camp, and, uh, you know, he deserved to be the guy to get clean out. You know, not, not exactly the way you want to inject energy, but, you know, we'll take it, and, you know, hopefully he'll come in and give us a good game. Nider. Go ahead, Rich. No. <laughs> <laughs> What one of the thinking when sticking with Corey tonight? Uh, he's our he's our guy, you know. I mean, I think when you when you have a guy that's struggling a little bit, you got two choices: you either you know sit him and and uh, and hope the the taking a step back fixes it, or uh, you know you let him play through it and find his game again. And you know my history with Corey is uh, you know that uh, he's a bounce back type guy. I think we're going to see a good game out of him tonight. Well, you know, I, I don't know. I think defensively we've been pretty good. We gave up 22 or 23 shots in Boston last night. I think he just has to be better, and he knows that. Big guy, physical, long stick. Um, you know, we, we don't have a lot of that, uh, you know, physical defenseman back there. So, um, you know, with Sal going out, who's that type of defenseman, uh, it's nice to have a guy in the minors that plays a similar type of game. You know, not just Patrick, everybody, all our big guys have to play, you know. You know, Corey's one of our big guys. He has to be very good. Uh, you look around the league and it's funny, you know, when you watch the NHL highlights and the teams that are on rolls and the teams that are slumping, and, you know, it's usually pretty similar stories. You know, the big guys go cold, whether it's your goaltender or your scoring. Uh, and, you know, the teams that are on rolls, the, the, the big guys are producing, uh, whether it's in net or, or uh, up front. So. Um, you know, we have to get going here.